Okay, now, because I'm part of Army Futures Command, I can't come to Leavenworth and not talk a little bit about Army Futures. Next chart. This is the problem. There's 124 countries that have a 30-millimeter cannon. We have a 25 on our infantry fighting vehicle. So as you look at it, okay, and you've got to remember, they shoot on detect, we shoot on identify. They shoot on detect, we shoot on identify because we have a moral obligation to do so. So the objective is that we have an optionally manned fighting vehicle, Bradley replacement, our number one priority. Objective 50 millimeter with a missile and 150 stowed kills. Put that in perspective, a 50 millimeter, two rounds kills an infantry squad. So that's what we're going for. We want to be able to see the enemy before they see us. We want to be able to kill the enemy before they can detect us. Next chart. So that's the option of manned fighting vehicle. We're also working on robotic combat vehicles, and these are exciting. This is, gonna, this is a revolutionary, in my opinion. You're talking light, medium, and heavy robots, 5 to 7 tons, 10 to 12 tons, 20 to 22 tons. Uh, payload agnostic. So they can have chemical detectors, they can have smoke, they can have mine plow, they can have weapons of various calibers and their varying degrees of survivability. We've got three experiments, 20, 21, and 23. We're going to put these in the hands of soldiers and they're going to go out and uh, conduct exercise. We don't know exactly uh, the tactics, techniques, and procedures we're going to use. We're going to let the soldiers fight with them, play with them, get them out there, get them dirty, figure out how they can help. And uh, I get a lot of naysayers that say, well, we don't, we don't want robots. We don't want robots on the battlefield. That's not going to help. I say, okay, well, if you were in the defense, would you want a robot five kilometers in front of you that could tell you when the enemy's coming and then shoot them in the flank as they did? Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, well, then you want robots. Okay? Can't have it both ways. Um, but we've got to make sure that the the cognitive burden, the manpower, the maintenance. There's a lot of things that we've got to work out to make sure that these things are going to be viable. AMP V113 replacement, much needed that it's going well. Uh, 22 first operational unit. Mobile protective firepower, the way I describe this is every World War II movie you've ever seen in your life. The friendlies are pinned down, they can't get past the bunker or the vehicle of the enemy, and they want to move towards the objective, and it takes some heroic, Audie Murphy-like character, thank you very much, uh, to go out there and drop a grenade or flank them and, and so that they can get past that. Now, with mobile protective firepower, they call up the MPF, the MPF takes the bunker out with a 105 uh, cannon or machine gun, and then the infantry can continue on towards the objective. Right. And obviously, man, tank. In 2023, we're going to make a decision what the Abrams replacement will be. 